Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling. Uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable watching him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Until the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, Hurricane. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, third Ready. man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Beautifully placed in time knee there by Lee. All right, so a quiet pedestrian start to this fight, DC. Maybe too much respect on both sides. What do you say? Too much respect. And you saw it in the buildup. They were hugging at the weigh-ins. It's almost like we're watching press. You guys are here to fight. Get on. Start to implement the game plan that you worked on over the course of the last eight weeks of the fight camp. Big inside Power punch landed there by Lee. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Oh, nice. Midway through round one. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Another huge kick is true. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, hands up, hands up. Looking to set up that up. Trying to kick the leg out. 
Watch the title fighter lands a knee and Daniel Cormier. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Moving off the center line, he slips to avoid that right hand. Nice punch to the head. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Right on the button. Another strike to the head land. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Under 30 seconds. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. 15 seconds. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Unable to connect there. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. He loaded up there on that high kick. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Unable to connect with a right hook. that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Went for the inside leg kick. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. the breeze there, swinging a miss by Lee. Take team, take team. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Ooh, gotta be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Oh, nice, nice. Takedown take down defense is there. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Final seconds here of round two. 
work, guys. Come on. And the horn sounds on round two. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Let it go now. Misses with the right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Need some work, guys. Nice kick to the body. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight he's leaning on the defense. Of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent's body. I love this game plan. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Under two minutes to go. Fast, hard head kick there. Oh, a huge shot finds the top is there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot was what they call it, to go and end the fight. Oh, a big left hand! Establishing the jab here. Short time now in the round. That one snuck in. Nice strike. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Waiting seconds here of round number four. Right. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Oh, nice jab by Lee. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can, seems like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. So the head strike's starting to pile up. 
I'm not even sure what I'm watching right now. He doesn't seem to respect those high leg kicks. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, big left hook there. Kicks to the body. Whiffs on that offering. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Nice straight right hand. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, missed on that one. Oh, headshot bang as the high kick lands. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Under a minute to go in round four. All right, so it's been a big narrative in the fight. The bruising on that thigh is now officially getting worse. We better make an adjustment and see. He's got to do something. He's got to change something. He's got to change the way that this fight is playing out. He's got to check and return. That's what I look forward to this guy doing. He's got to check a kick, return with a punch. Make him pay for throwing the strike over and over again. And there's the buzzer oh, indicating the end of round four. All right, deep breath, deep breath. Great. Last round coming up. You got five minutes. I want you to go out there and finish this fight. All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Perfect execution on that team. Big shot to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Come on. Let's go. Keep that going. Oh. Slips that left hand. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're... Still attached to his body. But a lot of the wrestling up the like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou, and you know it is still having fun out of the Overeem's head. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. 
All right, so he's landed a few semi-uppercuts already, DC. Got to think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's going to go and try to find another one. But expect him to really set down. Beautiful hand skills here, the right and the left. Well, now you start to see the frustration setting in. His thigh is just a mangled mess of bruises and not getting any better as these strikes continue to land. It can't get better because the opponent keeps going there. He's got to do something, or he should have done something a long time ago to stop him from throwing those kicks. It's too late now. It's only a matter of time before this fight gets stopped. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Oh, out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. The Ladies official decision is in. Bruce five Buffer has rounds, it. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 46, 50 47, and 50 46. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee lighting up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the 